Must starts for tonight across the board. Do we have your lineup? Can we take a look at your lineup today, DJ? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, let's run through it. What do you got? So at the top, I got Yogi Ferrell, um, and then I also have Devin Harris at point guard and shooting guard. So, of course, you guys mentioned Darren Williams is, is out of the mix there, and we can't forget that Justin Anderson is also out of the mix. He had been seeing some time at point guard, so if you're looking for some cheap options at the guard spots, I'm really going to be targeting Yogi Ferrell and Devin Harris tonight um, at small forward. T.J. Warren, this is another trade implications from a fantasy perspective where T.J. Tucker is out of the mix, so I'm expecting T.J. Warren to see a lot more consistent minutes night in, night out. D.J., how about if you're in, I know everybody gets into the daily fantasy stuff, but if you're in an NBA keeper league, do you like the Yogi Ferrell potential moving forward? It's really tough because I'll, I'll be honest with you. If Dallas is presented with a reliable point guard they know they'll have over the next three or four years that's proven uh, over the course of a couple seasons, then I think they're going to go with them. So, you know, if you got Yogi Ferrell in a keeper league, then congrats to you. But I think you should be very skeptical moving forward. Uh, Dallas is going to, you know, say it's for the rest of the season, you know, we're, we're going to try him out. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was bench fodder next season. DJ, we talked a little bit about power forward, and you went in a different direction there. But in terms of the Sixers, all of those power forwards that were clogged up there, is there one now because of the moves or because of some opening playing time that you would go with in terms of inserting them into your fantasy lineup? Most definitely, and that's Dario Saric. You know, how funny is it that we've been talking about this Sixers front court for maybe two years, and it was always indeed Okafor Noel, and the winner ended up being Dario Saric. I like him a lot. Right now he's pretty cheap in terms of daily. I think you can get him less than $6,500 as a small forward and power forward eligible player moving forward for the rest of the season. I like Dario Sarge quite a bit, and I'm assuming based on the events that happened yesterday, the Sixers are going to be ready to give him major minutes moving forward for the rest of the season. Which player are you definitely staying away from tonight? You know what? I'm going to avoid Will Barton, and he's one of those Denver players I just talked about. His, his price is inflated because before the All-Star break, they were dealing with a lot of injuries. But the whole team is pretty much uh, back to full strength. His price still uh, looks like uh, he's seeing starters minutes, but that's not the case. He's in more of a reserve role. So Will Barton right now is completely overpriced for how much playing time he's going to see. DJ, do you see players take uh, have huge advantages fantasy-wise for teams that are charging into the postseason and trying to either improve their standings or to get into the postseason in terms of how that affects their fantasy value? Yeah, most definitely. This is one of the most important things to realize in fantasy that if you have somebody, if you have a team like the Cavaliers or the Warriors who have locked up the number one seed in their respective conference, they're going to rest some of their best players. And so you really want to zone in on those, those players jockeying for playoff positions. So, of course, I'm talking about your Bostons, Torontos, Washingtons, your Isaiah Thomas, John Wall. Those guys need to play 30 minutes basically every single game of the season. So you're going to actually see something where, you know, John Wall is going to have a lot more value than Kyrie Irving, Isaiah Thomas. You know, maybe those guys do naturally, but you really want to key in on the players that still have something to play for, and that certainly comes into play with late-season DFS.